enterprise resource planning. And what that does is it basically integrates all of our existing systems. Eventually I see best case eight years, uh, worst case five years from now, um, our existing system, if we just continue on, it will become obsolete. We will not have the ability to meet the customer's needs. We will not be able to ship in time. Um, so it, it's something that I feel that we absolutely have to do. Um, and I think it's going to be a pretty exciting challenge for us. I mean, it's not going to be easy, uh, but it should allow us to be a lot more efficient. It should allow us to utilize our equipment more efficiently, our people, our resources, um, and, and generally become a more streamlined organization, which we need to do to be able to continue to compete both in price and delivery. Um, probably within the next two years, we should be on our way through implementation. Um, at this point, we're researching consultants um, who then help us select a software manufacturer who then implement the program and change our processes where needed simply um, kind of reformat the way that we do things. I just wanted to give you all a quick update on the ERP system. Um, we're progressing pretty well so far. Uh, it looks like we're getting in, into the next, you know, three months we'll be looking at uh, selecting a vendor. Um, to this point, we've been working with our consultants pretty exhaustively. There's been about 50 people from various facets of the organization, um, pretty much every area that I can think of has been represented. Again, this project is a change to everything we do. It's not just we're replacing WIM with a different computer interface. We're, we're actually really changing our process and the way we look at things, um, the way we handle inventory, transactions, taking orders, shipping orders. Just about anything you can think of that we do here will be affected by this change. Um, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty exciting project. It's probably one of the biggest transformations this company will experience in 20 years to come, I would say. I mean, it's going to be a really, really big deal, and we're going to need everybody on board and everybody to contribute. Um, it looks like we're probably going to have four different companies uh, that we're going to be looking at, spending probably two 12-hour days with them um, each to show them you know, what, what we want and to have them give us uh, demonstrations of all these different things uh, that we're going to need from them. Ultimately, the project will be a failure if we don't have better lead times, if we don't have lower inventory, if we don't have uh, predictable ship dates. I mean, some of these really fundamental issues that we've had for a very long time um, will be solved by whatever vendor we choose. Um, and how well of a fit it is for us is, is really a lot of what we're looking at. Um, you know, how well does it fit our culture? How well does it fit our exact business model? These are the things that separate one vendor from another. Um, the actual functionality of what it does for the company and the improvements that we very desperately need, um, I think will we'll come through with any of the four that we are looking at. Um, so it's, it's just it's a big undertaking. It's something that I'm personally very excited about. Um, I remember last time I spoke to you guys, I was pretty nervous about it. But at this point, I really the nervousness has gone away, and I'm just seeing a lot of really exciting opportunities uh, that these systems present to us. Um, so I, I hope that you all um, end up feeling the same way. And as we transition into these, these new ways of thinking and these new processes, I hope that you know, we don't miss anything or leave anything behind. Please don't hesitate to call me or text me or whatever. Um, if you have any concerns or any thoughts or questions or anything about the project or some of the things that you've been hearing or whatever, um, I'm, I'm here to just listen to any of that stuff. Um, I'd love to hear from anybody on any issue that you can think of as a result, as it res relates to this project. Uh, the ERP project switching gears. Uh, that's something that I think represents probably one of the biggest challenges that we'll maybe ever undertake as a, as a group, all of us together. It's going to be a very aggressive, I think, time frame of 18 months to go from where we are today and our systems today to systems that are really leading the industry uh, in manufacturing globally. Um, we're going with probably a tier one supplier of software, which means that 
we would represent a very small company to them, um, but one that they're particularly interested in because of the variety and complexity of the things that we do. Um, so we do feel confident that we have their attention, but at the same time, they're large enough and sophisticated enough to be able to grow with us going forward. So as we continue to increase our implementation of this software and um, just basically integrate it more and more into our daily lives, uh, over the next 15 years going forward, we should have a partnership that will last uh, for all the growth that I see um, us having over that period of time. So um, there's a lot of benefits there. Uh, so about by the end of this month, we should be signing a contract with one of two vendors, both of which I feel can suit our needs. And um, a lot of us uh, on the management side have, uh, we're called uh, business process owners or whatever. Um, that group of people has uh, dived into every aspect of these systems to make sure that they can suit all of the needs that we have today. I feel very confident in the people that we have looking at that. I feel very confident in the software vendors that we're looking at. Um, and I think that we should all be very excited for this challenge because it represents a huge opportunity uh, for us to continue to grow going forward. Um, just report a couple things on the new ERP system that we're working on implementing now. We selected a vendor and began working with them uh, last month for the first time. That's Infor. Um, they're a they're one of the large uh, leaders in that industry of creating computer systems and best practices around the type of product that we make um, and how we make it. Uh, so I see a lot of change ahead for us in that, in that arena. Um, it's going to push us to implement a lot of changes as an organization that uh, we've never really been challenged with before, but I think are necessary for our survival and for our profitability going forward. Um, so really, it doesn't change it doesn't change so much how many jobs are available, it changes how they're done and, and really what we're tasking people with is, is more value-added uh, value work, not as much um, repetitive things that computers are, are better at, at doing for us. So uh, we're excited about that. That's kind of going off right now it's just with training um, and we've got a large group assigned to it. Um, and more of you will be brought in as we begin to do workshops and things around uh, improvement to our process. Uh, the, the ERP system, system in general, general uh, we're still in an early stages with that. that. We're just developing plans and developing schemes around, you know, how different um, areas in the company will change or, or may need to adjust their, their process. Uh, but ultimately, it's not going to be something that is, that is quick or overnight. And certainly, as, as we get further down the road and have a formal uh, sense of what we really hope to uh, implement, we'll be sharing a lot of that with you. And there will be pretty elaborate, consistent training on that, uh, which is probably foreign to a lot of you uh, with our existing system. We just roll out a change, and you're like, why, did, why is this different today? Why, why what, the screen changed, you know? So hopefully in the, in the future, we'll be a lot more consistent with that um, to help, help everybody, you know, adjust to the change. Um, we have a lot of new support from the ERP system uh, team. Um, our team has been has been great and very consistent. But on their side, we've we've asked for significant resources um, in addition to what we had. So hopefully, um, we get some better better results going forward, and hopefully get some traction. Um, what else? Yeah. So innovate is the future. Yes, absolutely. George Whelan, thank you so much for coming on and telling us about Whelan Engineering. No problem. Thanks for having me. We'll look for you to see what you're doing in five years. Okay. Okay. Thank you.